All right, folks, you ever think folding laundry could lead to anything other than finding that one missing sock? Yeah, neither did I until today. So, there I am, lying on the bed like a king, scrolling through my phone, thinking I've got life figured out. Meanwhile, Katie's over there folding laundry like it's some Olympic sport. Then it happens. She bends over to pick up a shirt. And suddenly, laundry isn't so boring anymore. You know how it goes. One minute, you're looking at wrinkled t-shirts and the next you're thinking, is that underwear or a sign from the universe? You ever try sneaking up on someone doing laundry? It's like playing a weird game of sexy hide and seek. One wrong move, and instead of foreplay, you're just getting a face full of fabric softener. Katie's like, are you seriously checking me out while I'm folding socks? And I'm like, hey, don't act like you didn't intentionally drop that shirt. I know a stage wardrobe malfunction when I see one. Here's the thing. Flirting during chores is risky. You go in with intentions of seduction. But if you're not careful, next thing you know, you're folding her underwear and feeling less like Casanova and more like Cinderella. There's something awkward about trying to be seductive around laundry. You want to be all smooth and sexy, but then a stray sock hits you in the face and suddenly, you're battling more cotton than feelings. At one point, I tried to make a move, but my knee popped louder than a microwave popcorn bag. It's hard to be seductive when your body sounds like it's falling apart. So, yeah folks, never underestimate the power of a laundry basket. Sometimes it's less about folding clothes and more about unfolding possibilities. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share, especially if you've ever made a move and tripped over a pile of laundry.